Hello everybody, how are you? In this video, I'm going to show you quickly how to use Aristoflex AVC. Aristoflex AVC, it's a co-processor modifier. It's a thickening agent and it's a rheology modifier. And this helps to improve the stabilization of your beauty product. And you can also use this, okay, in place of Carboma. If you have used Carboma 940 before, uh, it's a VP copolymer that um, that needs to be neutralized. So the difference between Aristoflex AVC and Carboma is that Aristoflex AVC is already pre-neutralized by the manufacturer. Okay. Um, so what you have to do right now is just to follow the simple instruction to use it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to hydrate it. Okay. A lot of you have issues hydrating your um, your thickener okay so you can use this as a cold processor emulsifier very interesting and you can also use it as a gelling agent especially when you're making low pH gel okay so today I'll show you how to hydrate it and in my next video I'm going to show you how to use this to make uh, air gel it's very very useful for making hair gel especially if you are looking for a substitute for carboma so let's jump right hand so get yourself a, came, a clean bowl well how do you use it basically you're going to add it to a solvent okay once you add it to a solvent you're going to add water to it once it is fully hydrated you can add your other ingredients and mix 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 then adjust the ph and you have a stable product so how do you use it um, basically you use it from 0.5 percent to 2 percent if you are making 100 gram of any product you're going to use it between 0.5 gram and 2 grams so today I like using any of these ingredients um, they are not that green okay I like using them um, minimally okay so just measure get your notebook down measure 5 no, 0.5 gram of Aristoflex AVC So that we are going to have 10 gram of vegetable glycerin. Make sure you go for the USP grade, 99.7 uh, US grade. That's available at Pure Natural or any of your local uh, ingredient suppliers. So we're going to have this at 10 gram. Make sure you are using a good, I made a mistake, I shouldn't have uh, mixed it in here, but I'm going to sort the half liter. So here we have five gram, um, 10 gram of vegetable glycerin. We added it to 0 0.5 gram of Aristoflex AVC. So what you're going to do, make sure you get a, a, a big, a big beaker of this type. And we're just going to transfer it there because this will not help the hydration part. So you're going to really mix it well. And keep in mind, you anytime you want to hydrate your gel, you really need an overhead stirrer. An overhead stirrer will do a better job of uh, mixing it for you. So the best way to hydrate uh, your gel is to first add it, add your your powder, Aristoflex AVC. Add it to a solvent. The best solvent for this is vegetable glycerin mix it very well then to that we're going to add distilled water i don't have my um 
my recipe right in front of me but i'm going to give you an idea so remember we've already had 0.5 gram uh, 0 0.5 gram of aristophyll afc to 10 gram of distilled water that is 10.5 right then to that we are going to add 89 gram okay 89 gram of distilled water so to that we're going to add 89 gram of distilled water If you do not have an over I highly recommend you get one if you want to fully hydrate your gum. Okay. Make sure you go for a precision scale. Okay. A precision scale will really help a long way. So 89 gram of the still water. Because Aristoflec uh, AVC is a very strong VP copolymer, okay, it's a fixative agent, radiology modifier, stabilizer, st uh, thickener, emotion stabilizer, and so on and so forth. It's, it has so much uh, wide variety of usage. So now you're going to take this to your over okay? You're going to stay for at least three to five minutes, okay? Once it's fully hydrated, you're going to hear the sound of your over you know? Uh, you're going to hear some cracky sound. You're going to notice that it's, it has ticking, okay? So you need to take it to your over and put it to 500 RPM, okay? Make sure you go for 500 RPM. Then I'm going to take it to my advice terror right now, set it to 500 RPM for two to three minutes. Then we are going, to, I'm going to come back. Then I'm going to show you exactly what we have. So straight from my overhead terror after about two to three minutes, this is what you are going to get. So my, uh, my question, you, maybe your question now will be, okay, what if I don't have an overhead stair? What other options do I have? After you have mixed your AVC, okay, Aristophyll AVC with uh, glycerin, what you can do after, then you add water to it. What you can do is that you can cover it and just leave it for one to two hours. That is another way to hydrate it, okay? It takes time, okay, for the, for the molecules to come together to fully hide, to swell up. And with the help of the solvent and water, it's going to swell up with time. It's just a matter of time for the molecule uh, to be absorbed in water and for them to fully swell up. So basically that's what, how you do it if you do not have an over but if you have an overhyped hair, it makes the job faster. And this is exactly what you get. Okay. So this is a very beautiful gel you get. Okay. This is the second to the final step. And remember any gel you make, you don't want to just, you know, let it be subjected to microbes. So now we are going to have preservative. So I recommend when you're making gel, you want to use a very very strong water soluble preservative i'm going to use um, liquid jammer plus because it's a very strong preservative for my gel i'm going to add liquid jammer plus at 0 0.5 percent so i'm using 0 0.5 gram of liquid jammer plus preservative See the description box below for everything I use where to get your authentic grade. Be, be, be careful, there are a lot, a lot of fake cosmetic ingredients out there. You don't want to fall prey to this. Make sure you look in the description box below for where I buy all the ingredients I use today. So mix it well. Now, without further ado, what you have to do is just check the pH 
I've checked the pH prior to now because I did a batch before. The pH came to around 6.2, which is okay, okay? Make sure when you are working with Aristoflex ABC, make sure your pH does not exceed eight. Any pH above eight is going to cause the creation of ammonia, which will cause terrible skin irritation. So please, please, make sure you learn how to adjust the ph basically if you do this without adding any other actives okay your ph is going to be six my home i got 6.2 in your home case you might get six six okay all right that's about it for this beautiful jet can you see how lovely it is mm. it's just a matter of time the good thing about the aristoflex avc is that because it has already been pre-neutralized by the manufacturer, you don't have to give yourself too much stress of um, adjusting the pH and stuff like that. It's just going to, it's very easy to work with. You can use this to stabilize your lotion, use it for facial gel, use it for micellar water, use it for so many things. Now, you ask me, is it, is it green? Is it non-toxic? Well, any VP copolymer are not, of course, they're not biodegradable, so you can't call them green. But there's no air gel that doesn't have a form of fixatives, okay? Like these ingredients. If there's no organic air gel on the market. If you see any organic air gel on the market, depending on what it is, it wouldn't be as effective as when you have VP uh, copolymer in it. So keep that in mind. That's why a lot of EAJ on the market now has carboma. And the problem with carboma is that they are, you, can, you have to adjust the pH. You have to neutralize it using a, a very toxic pH adjuster. I've talked about the T, TEA. Um, you don't want that. Try tanolamine, you don't want that in your ear care product. And sadly, this is present in a lot of ear care product but that's nothing we can do about it at least before you use any product make sure you know the ingredient that uh, was used to it so uh this is about it for this video if you love this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified of my next video my next video i'm going to show you a very simple simple hair gel we are going to use uh, aristoflex abc to make a very very lovely hair gel and uh, i know you like it so if you want to learn more about making beauty products to sell or you want to learn to make beauty products for yourself, for your friend and for your family, head over to stablecosmeticformulas.com. That is uh, the website where I teach cosmetic formulation a project at a time. We have covered a lot of ground. Trust me, we are going to cover a lot more this year. So if you want to increase your cosmetic formulation knowledge, join me at stablecosmeticformulas.com and I'm going to see you there. Have fun formulating everyone. Remember, whatever you are doing, put your best to it. The more time you put into cosmetic formulation, the more you get from it, okay? Thanks for joining me today. And this is my first uh, video of the year. Like, uh, you hear me talk, okay? Other videos, I wasn't the one talking, but that's okay. At least I passed something on to you. So in my next video, keep that in mind. I'm going to do that video in the morning, okay? We are going to make our very, very beautiful pass. We're going to color a little bit hair gel using Aristoflex ABC. Until then, remember, don't forget to click the notification icon so you'll be the first to be notified when I make that video. Happy formulating, friends.